Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks. And today I'm gonna to show you how to save a bunch of battery life by automatically enabling airplane mode when you're on Wi-Fi. Now one of the biggest sources of battery drain in a smartphone is its mobile data connection. In general, it uses a lot more power to maintain an LTE connection than it does to keep a Wi-Fi connection going. So it's almost always better to be on Wi-Fi instead of your carrier's network. You see this a lot when people who own the same device compare their battery stats. Even if screen on time and app usage is similar, the person who has the better cell reception will almost always get the better battery life because the phone isn't constantly struggling to keep that connection going. But when you're at your house, you're usually connected to both network types simultaneously. Wi-Fi handles your data, but the cellular connection is still active for calls. But a lot of carriers these days, most notably AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, and Google Fi, offer a Wi-Fi calling feature. So this means that you don't actually have to keep that cellular connection going when you're already connected to a Wi-Fi network. With all this in mind, developer Nikhil P created an app that will automatically enable airplane mode when you connect to a Wi-Fi network. The end result is that you're not wasting a lot of battery life to keep up that cell connection when you're already connected to Wi-Fi, and most folks won't lose any key functionality as a result. Now to be clear, this app does require root, and you'll also need to be running Android Lollipop or higher. Aside from that, I'd only recommend this if your phone and carrier offer a Wi-Fi calling feature, otherwise you'd miss some phone calls. Additionally, if you're a big SMS user, this definitely isn't for you. But the app itself is called Radio Control, and it's free on the Google Play Store. So search it by name to get it installed, or you can use the link in step 1 in my full tutorial. Then, when you first launch Radio Control, the app will ask for super user access, so tap Grant on the pop-up. From here, you'll be greeted by a setup guide. Go ahead and read through this to get a good idea of how it'll work, then head to the main menu when you're done. Now from here, the only thing you really have to do is make sure this switch at the top of the main menu is enabled. When that one's on, your phone will automatically kick into airplane mode as soon as you connect to Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi connection will stay active so you'll have the internet but you won't be connected to your carrier. Aside from that, you can blacklist certain Wi-Fi networks so that your phone doesn't go into airplane mode when you're at work, for example. To try that out, head to the side navigation menu, then choose settings. From here, select network settings, then just enable the switch next to any Wi-Fi network that you want to blacklist. With that set up, you're almost ready to go. But if you don't already have Wi-Fi calling enabled, you should take care of that now. So this part's going to be a little different depending on your device and carrier. But the main thing you want to do is find your call settings menu. It'll either be in the main Android settings menu or in your phone app settings. From here, just look for the Wi-Fi calling option, then make sure it's turned on. Once you've done that, you'll still be able to receive phone calls when you're in airplane mode because your Wi-Fi connection will still be active. And in the end, you should notice a huge uptick in battery life, especially if you live in an area with poor reception. The thing that I like most about this app is how quickly it switches into airplane mode. It happens almost immediately after you get home and connect to Wi-Fi, so it's a seamless experience. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.